Hi, it's Uni, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you another 30 day challenge that I did with a Louis Vuitton bag and it's the Neverfull MM in the Damier Azor and it has the rose ballerine interior. If you want to find out a bit more about how I got on in the last month with this bag, then keep watching. After the last 30 day challenge I did with the Speedy 30 in the Damier Azor, I decided to do it on the uh, Neverfull MM Damier at Ben. Um, but when I first started doing that, uh, the weather kind of turned really nice and it was very sunny and dry and I didn't want to waste the sunshine on the Damier Ben bag so I decided to change to a different bag kind of, um, kind of like halfway because I, I did do it for a few days the other challenge and then decided I wanted to switch so then I've been using this for about a month now. I guess that's one way to know that uh, I prefer to use either Monogram or Damier Zor when it's sunny and dry and I feel like Damia Ben is a bit more like a rainy day or winter bag in my opinion so that kind of how I feel about different prints of Louis Vuitton bags. The reason I wanted to do um, another challenge on one of the bags that I've got is because I've been worrying about this bag a lot and it's just not been getting any use it's just been sat in my wardrobe for a while and I'm just worried about it because it's so light and we get a lot of rain so I decided to just actually use it and do the challenge on this bag as well and see how I feel after that and um, the other reason I wanted to do the challenge just so again to use it more and because my straps um, were stiffer <laughs> they were like st uh, standing up kind of the whole time and they just wouldn't soften um, and I can't wait for the bag to soften a bit more so it's a bit more comfortable to use um, at the moment it's still a little bit scratchy and not as soft as I want it to be but it's definitely getting there after using it for a month so it's definitely softened a bit I've also noticed with this bag is even though the leather hasn't softened but the patina has seemed to have darkened quite quickly like quite early on um, when I first took it out it kind of picked up the patina really quickly so it kind of looked um, dark but not softened if that makes any sense so the leather would still be stiff and not softened but then it would have a lot of patina on it but I don't know whether it's because of the damiers was quite light so against that it makes it look like the patina is darker um, so I'm not sure but um, it's still starting to look really good and like I say it's slowly softening as you can see <laughs> As I mentioned, we do get a lot of rain, so this bag has definitely been caught in the rain during the month I've been using it. And I do have tiny bits of watermarks on the leather, but I'm not worried about it because it's quite minimal on this bag. So the leather is not kind of everywhere and it's not very obvious. And also the reason that I'm doing this challenge is because I don't want to have to worry about the bag and getting watermarks or getting it slightly dirty or anything like that. So um, yeah, I, I definitely feel more comfortable now taking it out, even if it's going to rain or there's a chance of rain. So my bag's got the rose ballerine interior, um, but sometimes I do wonder whether I should have got it in the beige colour because, um, as some other people have said as well, the rose ballerine seems to mark quite easily and it gets quite dirty inside. Um, some, I don't even know, because I've been using the Samorga bag organiser in this bag just to keep things uh, kind of organised and be able to, easier to find things when I'm using it. Um, so I don't actually know like how it got marked at the bottom. So I've got some like black marks and yeah, just a bit, so no, it just doesn't look as good. I mean, it's not too bad. It's, it's still very clean and I do look after my bag. I don't even know if I can rub it off because I had the Delightful in the same color combination, the Delightful MM, which I've sold now. It When I first bought it pre-loved, it had a black mark inside um, and I tried to clean that off and that just wouldn't come off at all um, so I feel like it's going to be the same with this one but it's not too bad I don't mind it too much but sometimes I do wonder whether I should have got a the beige colour but I do love the pink in this even though I'm not a pink person but this kind of goes really well with the Damiers or so I do really like the rose ballerine interior. I've been really enjoying using this bag for work in the last month it fits so much um, but the problem is I do find that I try to fit more and more every day because it fits a lot um, and it does get very heavy after a while but I do like that it has a longer strap so you can put it over your shoulder um, like if I go to the shop after work or something I can just put it on my shoulder and then go shopping without having to worry about being hands-free or anything like that so that's really handy and like I said it just fits a lot so I never have to worry about if I should bring something or not bring something for that day or if I'm going somewhere else after work then I don't have to think oh I've already got a small bag and it won't fit so I could always put a scarf in there as well as the weather's changing a bit so from 
cold to a bit warmer so I sometimes don't know like what to wear or what to bring so uh, it's nice to be able to fit a scarf in and carry a bag and things like that so that's really nice um, I do really love the Neverfall as you might know it's one of my favorites from Louis Vuitton so this has definitely been very enjoyable in the last month and it's um, got some patina some tanning <laughs> of the leather so that's really nice the canvas is still really clean I've not wiped it or cleaned anything um, I don't put my bags on the floor when I'm outside so the bottom's very clean and the hardware's still really good nothing's like scuffed or broken um, or scratch or anything even the hardware looks really good still um, so yeah it's done really well in the last month and hopefully for many more years to come so hopefully you enjoyed my second 30 day challenge of using one handbag. Um, I did do the other one, like I mentioned, the uh, Speedy 30 and the Damiazor. Um, I'll link that video down below if you're interested in finding out kind of how I got on with that bag for 30 days. Um, yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed it and I'll probably do another one at some point because I enjoy it and it's good to find out what works and what doesn't kind of in my wardrobe and whether it's time to let it go or keep it or just use it and not worry about it. So it's been very interesting for me to do these challenges. If you have any questions or any comments, then please leave it down below. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and I'll see you in my next video.